Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kim, and if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. If you just clicked on and you're new, um, hopefully you'll like my video and I'll subscribe at the end and like my video. Um, I've get, gotten a few new subscribers uh, lately and I just wanna say thank you so much. Every time I get uh, a notification that I got a new subscriber, it's like, woo! It's, it's quite exciting. So thank you so much for enjoying my videos. Um, I'm going to be more consistent. As my son said to me this morning, the only way you'll do better is be consistent. He actually had his prom last night, so I'm still kind of like, I'm, cons I'm going to be consistent even though I want to take another nap. Anyway, I'm glad he had a good time. And today, what I have around me is all the things that I found at a garage. It was kind of like garage sale in Hancock Park in California where my sister um, sells a lot of homes. She's a real estate broker. Hashtag, she's the best. Lorna, thank you. I'll list her uh, information below just in case you're looking for a house. God, that's a lot of information to start. Anyway, um, my video today is on the garage sales that I saw in Hancock Park. Once a year, they have this huge uh, yard sale or garage sales all across the different blocks. They had probably about 50 different homes and they're beautiful homes um, that had out what they consider drunk, which is uh, for me, a treasure. And if anybody's familiar with Sanford and Son, the TV show from the 70s, that's pretty much me. Not my house, it's not junky, but I love finding stuff. I just, I get almost a high from just looking for stuff. So around me, I have the stuff I found yesterday while walking up and down all the beautiful blocks. So thank you so much, sister, for letting me tag along. Most of the items that you'll see today, I got for less than Five dollars for sure. A good portion of them I got for one or two dollars. I found some Louis Vuitton. I'm not sure. I'm still doing the research on the item uh, that I paid for, which you'll see in the haul. I also got some great antiques, which you'll also see. And um, shout out to Lavender Clothesline. If you don't watch her, definitely watch her. Um, she's been doing resale for a while now, for several years. Her daughter is Melissa. Her channel is Fresh Blooming Clothing. Shout out to that channel as well. And so I'm trying to branch out more into hard goods. Um, I've been doing it for about a year now, full time. And I notice I definitely do, or my sales are higher when I involve more hard goods in my um, uh, items that I have for sale in my closet on, or store, I should say rather, on eBay. So um, right now, I guess we'll jump into it. I'll try to remember how much I paid for the item and as much information that I have found so far on the item. A lot of items I haven't had time to research because it was just yesterday. And again, as my son went to his prom last night, and there was quite a extravagant Uber uh, travesty uh, that happened as well last night. I'm still a little bit loopy, but okay, that was a long beginning. I'm so hope you're still here. Let's get started. So I'm just gonna grab from around me. The first, well, not the first thing I found, but first thing I'm grabbing are these in great condition Coach Espadrill flats. So I just thought I'm not really a big coach buyer um for resale because some of it, it resells for pretty good some does not but these were in such great condition that i had to pick them up let's see they are a size eight and they are called the danny made in spain so love these um i think i picked these up for two dollars that is uh great well, you know, why make you wait? Let's go ahead and just reach from the top. And if anybody wants to help out, I've done a little research last night, but not enough on this Louis Vuitton purse. Some of the signs point to fake, some do not. So I'm going to definitely do more research before I list it. If it is turns out to be fake, um, my sister said she wants it, so I'll be giving it to her. She actually has a real Louis Vuitton, so she's going to show me that tonight when we watch Game of Thrones last episode. Um, tonight and I'm gonna look at hers um, and compare because there's a lot of conflicting arguments on authentication authentic you know what I'm trying to say I might have to go to the pawn shop um, or pay a fee to get it it feels a little it doesn't feel right to me but all the signs point to it's real it's pretty banged up inside but it's great on the outside it has the Louis Vuitton zipper pulls it has a uh, they call don't call it a serial number but a date tag inside i'm going to move on i'm not going to get too much into it because i want to research it more and then i'll let you know later if it is at in fact if 
uh, real Louis Vuitton purse? If so, it fetches about six to seven hundred dollars online. Um, and if not, I just wasted five dollars. That's okay too, because it's not a waste. I'll give it to my sister. Next up that I found, oh, this guy had all these cool vintage items. Now, I haven't looked these up, so I don't really know the worth of them yet, but I know as much as I probably spent a total yesterday of no more than $75 for all the stuff that you're going to see. So I know I'm going to get my money back and more, but I don't know what a lot of these things are valued at right now. This is because um, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. I usually do mainly clothing and a little bit of hard goods. But this time I try to get more hard goods and vintage items. This one's a 1984 Olympiad Los Angeles jacket. It's a yellow and teal green um, color block. It's definitely, uh, oh, it's extra, extra large. Good size. It should say made in the USA. Official staff uniform. So this should, I mean, it's cool. If nothing else, and it's real, it's really old. So hopefully that'll do well. Next up, I got another Louis Vuitton. This one, again, I'm not sure if it's real, and it has fading. It has the Louis Vuitton tag um, inside and on the shirt at the bottom. Not sure if it's real, but he only charged me a dollar, so I went ahead and picked that up. Oh, I'm getting a call. Let me decline it. Sorry about that if that pops up on your side that you could see something. But anyway, um, I'm on my phone. My Samsung. I need a new one. So Louis Vuitton shirt. Got to do research on that shirt for men. Next up, another cool find <laughs> from that same guy. He liked a vintage chef. This is the World Cup USA 94 um, jacket. I don't know all the specific names yet. Just got this yesterday. Haven't done a lot of research, but sh this jacket is cool. I don't care what anybody says. This is cool. 1991, it was created. World Cup USA 1994. Again, I'll do future videos to let you know when it sells, what it sells for. Uh, but for now, it's just fun to see that maybe I have a possibility of making some decent money. Um, this one is a 2002 World Lakers champion shirt. Oh, my favorite players, Kobe. Shit, who's that? Um, I'm not sure. Shaq. <laughs> I didn't say I know them all, but this is more my time, 2002. We got three Pete t-shirt. I've sold some before Lakers shirts. Mm, $25, not great. So it really depends on the year and who's on it. So I haven't looked that up. We'll have to check that out. Next one is actually new with tags. Not, I don't, I don't support smoking. If you smoke, mm, that's great. That's fine. But this is a camel's uh, starter jacket in purple. Um, size large, brand new with tags. He did charge me $10 for this one. And I looked on last night on eBay and there are a few already on there. One that's actually showing new with tags, I think for $79. So if nothing else, I'll definitely make more than $10 on that. So that will be great. Next find, this is the item that kind of went down in value um, since I've been selling over the year, but I still picked it up because it was new with tags. And it's English laundry. Um, of course, the more, this is a size 16 neck. Um, usually they're small, medium, large. It has a tag. I guess it's considered new with tags, but I'm not sure because I don't see the price tag. It has some other little tags. But anyway, so I'll see if I'm going to post it as new or, so it looks like it's a little dusty <laughs> from being outside. Because some of these pieces, I was told by one lady, came from an estate sale, who she does estate sales, and things that didn't um, sell. Oh, do you like my Mickey ears? Dollar Tree. I, mean, I always try to give you guys some things that I found at like the Dollar Tree um, and other places that I found a bargain on that I loved because I also have, off track topic, some Mickey ears I got for $2.99. Well, I got it at the bins. I didn't pay $2.99. I got these at the Goodwill bins, which I also love. I just love Sparkle. Uh, you'll see for any younger viewers, as you get older, you start, well, all ages, but you really start to like to sparkle more. I don't know, because you lose some of the dewiness in your skin, so you want to sparkle somewhere else. Anyway, I love the sparkle. So this was a dollar, Dollar Tree, I think. It was a 99 cent store. One of the two. Um, and uh, so, good bargain to sparkle. Anyway, let's get back to the English laundry. So this one, a lot of the English laundry shirts are known for a lot of different patterns 
and they'll usually have embroidery and stuff. This one's pretty basic, but I only got it because I think she charged me a dollar. I'm pretty sure. Has the flip cuff, so a little bit of interest, but not extremely interesting. So I'm thinking maybe $20, $25 on that. Um, next up, I only got because it was a dollar and it was plus size. And it's Kenneth Cole, looks like at the estate sale. They try to get $29. That's probably why it's still in the bins. I mean, it's still at the garage sale. It's a Kenneth Cole size 2X. And it's a beautiful, like, is it sleeveless? Some of these items I didn't look over carefully because I was like, a dollar, I'll take it. Um, this is sleeveless. And I will look over anything. I didn't see any flaws on the quick review. It has elastic on the back. I just thought it was a beautiful pattern. Um, and it's 2X, usually does well. It's Kenneth Cole. Feels like either polyester or it's gotta be polyester. Yeah, polyester. Polyester, if you feel it really fast, sometimes it'll feel like silk. Side note on silk. <sighs> silk is uh <laughs> I hear a lot of resellers say silk. Pick up silk. I have a lot of silk in my closet, my Poshmark closet, um, as well as eBay, and it doesn't sell as quick as <laughs> I hear. Plus, I mean, maybe I just have the wrong style or size, but it, it's not selling for me very quick. And when it does sell, it's not for very much. So I'm not big on you have to get silk anymore because sometimes I'll sell polyester definitely for much higher than the silk items I have. All right, let's move on because I don't want to run out of time on my Samsung Android. And then, oh, I didn't mean to buy this. How did this get in here? Okay, this is another tip. When you're shopping at the bins, or anywhere else. It's new with tags. It just says, shirt says unique. I know I only paid a dollar for it because it was at that particular yard sale, but double check your stuff because a lot of times I get tired and I don't double check as well as I should. And then I, I've often come home with one shoe or something that clearly had flaws that if I had just held it up one more time, I would have saw. I mean, I've bought pants where it's just completely ripped in the back and I'm like, was that before I had the fish fillet, after the fish fillet? Because something went awry. So anyway, just tip for me, who's probably lost a lot of money on not carefully looking. Look, like who's going to wear that unique shirt? I don't know. We're all unique. Even though it has new tags, nobody's going to buy that. So that was, I'll probably be wearing that as PJs. Next up, this bag she charged me $2 for at the estate sale. They try to charge $50. I knew this brand, and I see that the same sell, uh, shirt, shirt, purse sold on eBay. No, I think it was Poshmark for $89 yesterday. It's a gold, and I'll pull up the brand. It's in good condition, great condition. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's B O T K I E R. Has a little slight stains on the inside, but overall, oh, look. Is this supposed to be part of the purse? Yeah, I don't know what that is. I'll have to figure that out. But it's gold, so it's for a certain person, leather. This uh, bag sells um, for a lot, and it resells pretty good, too. It's got all kind of stuff. So I just think it's really cute. Um, it sold for 89 so I don't have a problem pricing it for what it sold for, but mine will probably sell for $29.95. We'll see. <laughs> but anyway, this is another one I saw this morning that I grabbed without looking. Wow, and this one's really flawed. I saw Diesel on the rack at the yard sale, size large, and I was like, yeah, Diesel does okay. And then this morning I was looking at it and I was like, um, mm, trash. It's got more. That's not tie-dye. It's faded. Here's another item that a lot of items I started to say yesterday. I was just so excited being in the sun. It was so fun. Everybody was like, a dollar, dollar, dollar. Don't get trapped in the dollar. Um, <laughs> I bought some things that I would not pick up normally ever, and I should know better by now, but don't laugh. I saw Chevrolet leather bag. It looks like leather. It's probably leather. And who buys super service Chevrolet? So I don't know if somebody got this with their Chevrolet, uh, car when they picked it up. It looked like they had a price at the yard sale for $42 originally or state sale. I got it for a dollar. Mm, I have no words. Okay, so there were a couple slip-ups. Yeah, baby, some slip-ups. Okay, here's another one that I see online that they sell okay. 
I'll probably get $5 per cup. I always hear, buy Starbucks cups. Well, again, just like everything, another tip for me, not every brand um, sells well for whatever style it is. So I hear Starbucks a lot, and these were in great condition. And when I picked them up, they were still in the box, four in a box. And they are Christmas blend Starbucks coffee. So I don't know if it was the recent Christmas that these were created. I'll have to do more research. But I did do some research last night. And they are selling, but for like $5 a cup. I paid $4 for all four cups. I probably would have left them there if I had taken the time to pull out my phone. So, and here's another, here's an item. Sometimes you buy things for yourself. Don't you all resellers? Or is it just me? Sometimes I'll see something and I'm like, uh, those are cute. And because I have a larger waist, um, well, I'm proportioned kind of like a, I always say SpongeBob or a haagen bar. I'll say haagen because that sounds better. But it was size 32 waist. And I've tried this brand on before. It's not a high-end brand. They usually have Nordstrom Rack. Vigos. And they were just white shorts with frayed hems. And I, I wear a lot of shorts here. I'm in uh, L.A. And uh, I wear a lot of shorts. And I was like, yeah, that'll probably fit. It's a good everyday. It didn't fit. And it didn't have stretch. So the white didn't. Or maybe my waist is now 33. It's a little tight on me. So anyway, I'm a plus size girl. Proud. But yes. Next up, this is a brand I heard from a, you know, some reseller or something. I've never been to this store, but I just was, it was only, it was $2 for this I paid. It was such a beautiful maxi dress. And let me see if I could do it justice. It's Kato, C-A-T-O. My light's too bright, so you can't see the tag. But Kato, and I know a lot of, besides medium, a lot of people have heard of it. But it was just such a beautiful print. I looked on Poshmark last night really quick. And it looks like these maxi self, maxis usually sell better than those shorter dresses for about $25 or $30. So, but it's so pretty. Actually, I pried it on just for fun and it fit. And I'm a large at the top, extra large. So um, definitely it has a stretch, um, which is good. I try to stay away from things that don't have stretch or, or at least have a size larger or higher because um, there's just more people in the world that are size medium and up. As I mean, they're all sizes, but of course... For my closet personally and my eBay store, I sell items quicker in clothing and sizes large enough. So I try to do that. Okay, next up, there was this great reseller, and I bought this for myself. Um, I really enjoyed Barack Obama. <laughs> I'm not political, but I thought he was just a nice guy, and I saw this hat, and me, the guy was really nice, and he was just like, just take it. Yeah, you know, he had some other stuff with his name on it. He was like, you could have it. He was just really nice. Okay, next up is a new with tags. I know it's not really the season for this item I'm going to show you. And I don't sell a lot of kids' clothes because they, um, I just don't. I don't know. I'm not as familiar. But this was new in the box with tags. Hannah Anna Anderson. Let me hold that up. It's a sweater dress and the pants that come with it, like the leggings. Again, I know Hannah, Hannah Anderson sells well. It's not the season. Maybe it's cold still in Alaska somewhere. I guess they're not buying for me. I don't know. But um, anyway, I got that. I did pay up for that because it was the same. This is one item I paid up for out of all the items because it was new. It's Hannah Anderson. And um, what was I going to say? The guy that gave me the Barack Obama hat for free, it was his wife selling that. And I paid ten dollars. I know too much because I'll probably only be able to sell it for twenty five, thirty dollars. But still profit, and it was a fun experience. Next up, speaking of Barack Obama, <laughs> ah, so again, don't say nothing. Donald Trump. Um, one of his. I've sold these before. Good quality. Um. And it's a size, it was just dry cleaned, it looks like, 16 neck, 16, 32, 33, a lavender with a white collar, just dress shirt. I only paid a dollar. So that was good. Oh, two items that I really like. You know this week, tip, I've sold, or in the last two weeks, I've sold a lot of those dust bags that I find at the Goodwill bins. Not all the time, but when I do, I pick them up now. Because I have sold 
several in the last couple weeks and they all sell for like $15, $20. I have one Mew Mew brand bag. It was not even that big and she spent $20 and it went global shipping. So that means she paid probably over $20 in addition to the shipping I charge. So look out for dust bags and high uh, brands because not only do they sell quick, but they sell, not that I want you to oversaturate the market, maybe I should have left that alone, but it's okay to give some tips because that's what I'm here for. I need to give some tips, otherwise you're not gonna watch. So I'm gonna give you that tip. Not that I'm making a lot. I don't have a lot of tips. Dollar Tree tips, a couple other tips, but I'm gonna always give some tips that I know. Share the love, share the love. So this one I found was a garment bag, Burberry. Can you see that? It's like a gold, there is the Burberry. There you probably see it. I looked online last night, eBay, oh my God. A lot of these dust bags, for the, I mean garment bags, sell like for $70 and up, which is crazy. And I got also a Louis Vuitton garment bag. She charged me 50 cents each bag. What? Okay, well, I'm sorry when I go down, I'm just grabbing things. It looks like I'm almost done with this haul, and I have it up. I always have some other thoughts. I have, I'm raising two, well, both of my boys are now adults. I have an 18-year-old and a 21-year-old. My 18-year-old, Riley, had his prom last night. He's awesome, the best, loves animals, um, wants to have a career in animals, which I fully support. My older son has been uh, in, I'm going to say it wrong, Nicaragua. Um, for the last three months because he's a big drop shipper. He does much better than I do, very successful. I'm going to put his information down below because now he's starting to train other people to also do drop shipping like he does. And uh, he'll be back this coming Wednesday woo, woo, after three months. And if you want to learn how to drop ship part-time or full-time, he trains people now to do that. He's currently staying in what they call a drop ship house in Nicaragua. Don't correct me. I haven't been able to say it no matter how many times I say it. And he loved it there, and he learned so much from other people in the home that do what he does. So he's grown more and more in his business. So I'm so proud of him as well. My kids are awesome. No negatives to say. But the first couple years of life was kind of rough. Anyway, um, let's move on. Uh, I have a pair of these where they charged me, I think, two one or two dollars. Valleys. If you're not familiar with this brand... It's very expensive and resells for pretty good too. And these were in great condition. They're like an olive men's loafer Oxford size. I'm unfamiliar with. I'm not going to take a lot of time on that. These should all be listed in my closets in the next week, this week for sure. Um, if you have questions about any or you have information on fake Louis Vuitton, Vuitton bags or how to edit a video, I need to look that up on YouTube because I don't know how to edit a video. Um, I have I th one more item, I think. Yes. And before I get to that last item, I want to say thank you if you made it this far and watching me and if you subscribe to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. It means so much. Um, I'm older now. I don't date. I haven't dated. No one's asked me out in years. Over 40 is hard, I, I, but I love life. I'm no complaining. It's okay. But so to be able to talk to other people and meet other people doing what I do means a lot. It means a lot because um, I have two boys, as I mentioned, and they don't talk as much as me. Boys aren't as chatty. So they usually send me away to talk to a girlfriend. Anyway, so I love doing this. I'm going to do it more because I just always love it. So let me get to the last item that I can show you. I actually have one item that I bought, oh my goodness, from uh, the yard sale yesterday. Well, it was supposed to be for my sister. She ended up giving it to me. I'm going to pay her back definitely for the item because she does, she's the sweetest person in, in life. I have the best sister, Lorna. Shout out, real estate broker for Keller Williams in Hancock Park. Um, she bought, it's called a Marshall and Fields um, Company. It was a, I, I don't I think the company's around anymore. They started, I think, in the late 1800s. Um, and it's Oshkosh is the brand. Not, well, it's the same brand as the kids' clothing. I need to do more research. I know I'm talking a lot, but I'm, tr I'm trying to tell you, I couldn't get it upstairs. It's a called a steam trunk, and it has drawers. So it's like a regular trunk, but I guess they used to use it in the early 1900s to travel on ships. It has drawers. So it's you could stand it up. It's like a humongous trunk that closes, and it has drawers. It's so cool. And I see they actually had one in the Gettys Museum. 
So I don't know how much this sucker is worth. My sister paid forty dollars for it. It has all the stuff. I, when I once I take pictures and stuff, I, I want to show you guys. It's so cool. Even if I don't make much from it, it's so cool. But it's too heavy. I gotta wait for my other son to help me get it up, um, so they can both bring it up this week. Last item. Uh huh. Thank you again. Again, my name is Kim. Shipping joy. But here's my last item. This is a fine that I found actually online last night. It's made in Japan, it's called Elite B, and when I looked online, the little research I did, it was like Elite B Nippon, I guess they call Japan that. I don't, I'm not gonna get into it, because I'm not sure yet, I gotta do more research. But this pattern was online, they all sold, so I don't know the value of it, but these were made in like, I think it was the 1920s, don't quote me, yet. Yeah, I'm gonna do more research. But they're old. The person who sold it to me, I have a whole box of the plates, like the creamer, like the whole set. I haven't even counted all the pieces. She sold it to me. I guess I paid up for this one too. $10. Somebody else was trying to buy it. And thank goodness I got it first. I've never done China before. Sold China. Lavender clothesline. Her channel, you should, well, she's on Instagram, not a channel. Her daughter's on a channel. Fresh Blooming Clothing, and they know so much. Um, inspired me to buy this china. I don't want it to ship or pack china, but if it makes a good amount on return, I want to try other things. I need to broaden my horizons and learn more. So I bought this. Oh, why did I put it down? It's so cool to look like. It's pearlized. You can't see it on my basic camera, but it's pearlized, or they call it luster wear. A lot of people are probably are familiar with what I'm holding up. Um, I forgot the name of the print, but very old. The person who sold it, I'm all over the place, to me, it belonged to her grandmother who died a little while back. Um, and she told me a little about it and she had shipped it, I think, in the trunk from Japan to here. She must have a lot of money. So it was really cool. So I don't know what it's worth. I got to do more research. But I know I'm going to make my money back for sure. And actually, that wasn't the last item. I see in my box the last item with the china. So you see I'm really trying. I haven't looked up this brand at all. Um, but uh, Crazy Lamp Lady, I also watch her. She said strawberries sell really well. And if it doesn't, I'll keep it. It has strawberries and it has this raised bumblebee. And it came with a little heart platter with bumblebees and flowers. I just think it's so delightful. I can't read the signature. God, my light. I'm so sorry. And the back is blurring it out. It's like a... This is the only thing that I don't like is when brands or companies put the name of it on the bottom. And if you're unfamiliar with brands and it's like in cursive writing, like, can you help me out a little? So anyway, <laughs> these are in cursive. I'll have to look, look at, but they're made in Thailand. Um, so I'll have to do more research on it. I don't know if it's worth anything, but I just thought it was so cute. So cute. Bees and... Strawberries, I like bees on cups, not outside, but I know they're good for the world, so hello bees, but I'm scared of bees. And wasps, wasps terrify me. Anyway, I'm so glad you stayed. For anyone that stayed, please comment down below anything that you like, what you enjoyed, if you want me to do anything different. I'm definitely, I have another haul that I'm going to do tomorrow or the next day, a Goodwill Benz haul that I did a couple days ago, and show you what I got there and about how much I spent. So again, for all of this, I definitely spent less than $100 on all of this, uh, probably less than 70, because a lot of these items were a dollar, $2, a couple were um, $10, as I talked about, and uh, the $4 for the mug. So, but overall, it was just, it was so much fun. I definitely recommend any reseller that hasn't, if you have the right weather or yard sales or garage sales in your area to check them out because a lot of people don't know the value of what they have or they don't care they're just trying to get rid of it and it's just some really cool stuff that you don't necessarily find for me at the bends or it's harder to find or you're basically fighting for the cup with someone else <laughs> but i love the bins too the goodwill bins are outlet is my my jam too so again thank you so much for watching Tip off, go to your local 99 cent store so you're looking for these. It just makes life fun. Made this video a little funner for me. And, oh, one more tip I have. Oh, my God, I hope my video doesn't give out. I'm always going to give you, try to give you some tips that I learned now. Okay, I have bought this from um, 
the 99 cent store. It's the Arm & Hammer Essentials. This is so off to topic, but I'm going for it. Essentials deodorant with fresh deodorizers. It's um, no alum aluminum, no parabens um, in it at all. Um, I tried it because it was a dollar and it appeared the ingredients were decently good, better than my deodorants I've been using since the rock ages that have aluminum. aluminum. I'm trying to do better in certain aspects. I'm going to try to eat better now too. I don't know how that's going to go. Um, but I also had gotten from the um, a sample, I think, I don't know if this is a Target box, Beauty box, something like this, this native deodorant. Now, I'm not saying this isn't good, but this is a dollar. This was, if you get the regular size, I don't know, $15, $14, $15. I tried both. This worked okay, but this works just as well for a dollar. So if you're trying to save and not use aluminum, no you know no bad reviews on na native deodorant i'm sure they're great but if you're trying to save like i do all the time or not try to save try to get some deodorant um look out for that so i know this is long-winded it looks like i'm at 30 minutes i need to learn to edit and i need a better camera so i need to sell this stuff so i can get a better camera if you know oh my god i can't believe i for forgot the last oh my gosh did i really forget the last hip hip hooray Oh my gosh, wait guys, don't go. Where did I put that? Oh my gosh, the best piece. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot this. I don't even know how I remember. It's still dirty. Oh my gosh, inspired by, again, the crazy lamp lady that I watched. This is a cake pan. I purchased it for $5 from Alex Haley. If you don't know, the writer who wrote Roots, and a great writer, has since passed, of course, if you know anything about him. It's his niece sold me this. The homes, again, were stunning, very expensive. And she was at one of the ones that was having a yard sale. And my sister knew her. Um, and this is, uh, I saw online, was selling on eBay. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you get, I'm still going. I'm so sorry. What was the name? It was on here. It was called, hold on, the excitement, Lincoln beauty wear so i'm gonna clean that up it looks like they sell the pieces 60 70 80 dollars depending upon the piece so i'll be cleaning that um i think that's from the 50 60 don't quote me i gotta do more research but it's old um so thank you again so much for watching i'll be back very soon if you have any thoughts comments questions please leave them down below i just really appreciate you guys um you made my day if you watched it and again my name is kim my Poshmark closet name is Shipping Joy. My eBay store is also Shipping Joy. Um, so have a great day and a great week. And I will talk to you soon.